Hello and thank you again for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories, entertainment buzz, all the basketballs, and everything interesting in the entertainment world. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my amazing co anchors with amazing. me. Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa. Amazing, Ife What's Omai. good, my people? What's going on? She's still blushing and amazing. Like, <laughs> have you done? Have, have you done? done? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You don't even have it to. <laughs> 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 okay, just, just rub your head. Mm. I need that hair back tomorrow. Just try. It's it. hot. Yeah, I, but when you what, come what? on set, you know you have yeah. it on. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> I like the natural, man. Team natural. Okay. That's what they say. And then you see his babe all fixed and Thank plastic. you. They'll be like, no, don't do makeup. No, for the gram. That is beautiful. For the gram. A white lady. Oh, I like, I like natural. Your baby's like weave, lash, makeup, everything. Yeah, for the gram, she's weave, lashed and all that. But if you see her on the regular day-to-day -day stuff, she's all natural. Who's not natural in regular You're day talking about Frisbee now. A story. Yeah, you, you, you're not always bae, blush when, when you're talking deal, about Any small thing. Any yeah, small thing. If I'm bringing bait. Yeah, my bae is good. She's great. She's ah. the best. She's <laughs> the best in the world. I ain't even going to lie. Oh Baby, God. I love you. <laughs> Baby, he loves you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so still on the Netflix Niger conversation, because of some of our submissions from the previous episode of Tea Time and where we had um, Miriam Giwa and Bamdil Olaleko and also a call in from veteran Hollywood producer Kunle Afalayan, it became necessary to get more perspective on the Netflix Nollywood partnership. To do this, we've got Ramsey Noah joining us um, live. Hello, Mr. Noah. From the ongoing conversation, concerns have been raised regarding the high possibility of our African stories being westernized. What are your thoughts on this? No, absolutely not. I don't think African stories is westernized. Because um, if, if that's the case, whoever is saying that is probably doesn't know anything about Netflix. Netflix already po uh, posted um, some of our films, our local content, the way it is and the way we filmed it on their platform long before they even tried to Netflix Niger. So there is no reason why they wouldn't want to create content for our consumption. Will this pose a threat to the already existing platforms and what would you say is the significant difference? That is um, it's, it's an alternative market for, uh, for content. It's an alternative market for our film. And I think, yeah, with, with the way it's going, there's a new frontier of marketing now for uh, film, filmmaking. And however way it comes, however many can be, the better for us, we the independent filmmakers. Okay. I like that you use we the independent producers. So there have been amazing review on the sequel of Living in Bondage. And it's probably safe to say the audience are yearning for more. Do we expect something um, more of this in, or more returns and more sequels from you? Yes, as it may. Yeah, my uh, myself and my partner, the guy that um, um, initiated and the sponsor, the executive producer of uh, Living in Bondage Two. Um, yes, we already have rights to a few on our hands right now. We have a right to doing Rattlesnake. We have the right to doing Nika, and we have a right to Glamour Girls, as we speak. So uh, it's it's probably going to be a year of uh, the revamping of the of the um, old stories. Okay, great. I think I'm even more excited about the about return the than yeah. the Netflix thing. I'm excited about Neka the Pretty Serpent. I, I believe that's what he called Neka, right? Rattlesnake. Yeah, so I can't, I can't wait. My God, you totally forgot about Rattlesnake till he said it now. That to be honest, you... until he said it, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> oh, yeah? I was like, oh, sorry, one second. I just want to check what that is. <laughs> okay, so in Neka the Pretty Serpent, Rattlesnake, um, those are great Nollywood movies. That, yeah. Uh, we were talking about Netflix having such movies that people have forgotten on their platform. Yeah. Do you understand? So um, getting a remake of this type of movies would just be a good reminder. It would be awesome. And yeah, I think one great. thing that I know for sure that I Netflix still haven't would... seen Living in Bondage, though. Mm, right. Have you seen it? Me. I have. <laughs> Is it me? Good. Have I seen anything? Thank you. Moving on. Um, big, shout out, <laughs> big shout out to Ramsey. She was saying now. something. Okay. Um, what I just wanted to say was, I know for sure, if Netflix is not going to bring anything, they're going to bring that technical aspect to it. The camera, the production, the cinematography, all of that stuff will be on point, I'm hoping. So it will be good really? to see that. Netflix have been on point for a while now. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah no, I don't I think mean, Netflix yeah. is going to bring that. I think we're going to do it and they're going to give us the platform. 
well, that's, that's the way I see it. Isn't it that they're bringing investments, yeah. more money, better equipment, better? Oh, you don't think so? You know, I'm indifferent about this. I'm okay, on the fence. I'm Switzerland to like um, see what happens. The yeah. good thing the first is, um, from what we saw from the conversations on going online and then from celebrities posting their pictures, you could see that it wasn't just this 14 that were present in the mm -hmm. whole thing. I think this was, I don't know what this picture was supposed to depict, right? Is this 14? But there's a special, there's a special title for the 14. Yeah. I think the person doing that Twitter. Twitter handle was just trying to be Nigerian savage. I don't know because if you check um, from platforms, um, things that even Ramsey Noah and um, Kunle Afolayan has said, nobody is really talking about the 14. You are talking about the context of what we saw on their Twitter page. So I think the it's just a, a cool picture of the 14 people they were able to draw away from the small shops. This is my first <laughs> now view right. right now. I don't know, but um, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. And I'm equally excited for the industry. Right? Switzerland for me. Okay. All right, moving on to Wizkid. Superbaba says he's a legend of this generation. Um, in his Period. words, he said, Wizkid is one of Period. the legends of his generation. And I don't use that word legend lightly. In as much as I want to say everyone is a legend these days, they don't water the word legend down. Anybody will just get one hit now, a legend. But I use that word for Wizkid, end of word. Period. 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 Can we dive to that? He said what he Thank said. You. Period. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I feel. I feel, I feel like I'm whiskey right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like, I like that. I'm so, I feel like Bernard Boy is there going in the tantrum, throwing his phone. I'm the best. I, period. I <laughs> but I like what he said. Did you see Bernard Boy's mom's face though during the interview yeah. when they said Bernard Boy finally pissed everyone off? Oh well, it's a different interview. Well, it was a long time ago interview. Not to actually. confuse you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but did you see um, our face? Yeah, we did, we did. So, and then people just um, judged that, okay, Bonaboy has always been rude and all that. So because that's an old interview, they pulled out. Please, can we not take um, Whiskey's Okay, sign? okay, 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 yeah, for real, Hello? for real, Bonaboy, please. Hello? Go please, Whiskey, go on. So, yeah, because she called Bonaboy. Mm. that I like what he said regarding his talent. Mm. So he said Whiskey is the kind of person that you give a track today and he gives you the verse today. Aww. And he also said that... Um, he noticed that whiskey is basically giving people what they want. Mm. So maybe when we are raving and talking about him not going into the studio to really write um, good content, I think he's probably just giving the market what they want because Two Faces, let's say, or Two Baba right now is making you understand that this guy is excellently talented. He can give you great content, mm. but he's giving the generation what they want. So, well, I, I like for it too, Baba to come out and say that yeah, about you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's absolutely. Great. For a legend to say that about you, then a he definitely is a legend. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Um, so. I, I, I think that Whiskey has slacked, but I think he has the right to slack. Because even in his slacking, he hasn't, like, gone far. We and just Tuba know. saying his slacking is intentional. Yeah. Um, um, to, yeah. I, I always don't really support that idea of feeding the market. It's the most comfortable thing that you can do. Um, and that to me mm. is always too capital driven. Mm. Um, sure. So I don't really respect that. But I still think that he has done so much work mm -hmm. to have the rights to even now just start doing market things. Yeah. And even in his market things, he's still pretty up there yeah. with his music. He hasn't like Mm, yeah, he hasn't really made music that I'm like, this is really bad, what? So I think he's still doing something right. I personally love Whiskey. I've been there since day one. Day forever. Day, like, day one, and he's been constant, and he's, he's, he's done his job. So for you to give this, this type of person an accolade, he, he, it's well-deserved. Well yes. Do you really want me to say that? <laughs> Moving on. Thank you. <laughs> I think we should just do that because I'll just gloat all you. All right. So let's just go on. So Bill Cosby. But, 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 but let, let, me, just, oh, let, let me just comment. Um, Whiskey has got like the most awards, most accolades, most everything. And I believe they should be popping on the screen. You know, the youngest African artist to get a Grammy nomination, um, best top chart award. Um, pop star to, to perform, to sell out the Royal Alberts all in London. I could go on and on and on. The first Nigerian to win an ASCAP award. The first Nigerian to win three Billboard Music Awards. Should I go on? <laughs> like, there's so many. And look at all the, the list of awards. This guy has won about 47 awards out of about 90-something nominations. Like, who does that? Like, it's definitely a living. That's why I said, just don't let me talk, because I'll just gloat on you. So, <laughs> Whiskey, it, we give you the bow right here, man. You're, you're definitely a living legend. Okay. I hope here, you're watching. So. Moving on. <laughs> 
Bill Cosby supports Harvey Weinstein after a guilty verdict. He says he feels sorry for wealthy and famous men. Cosby spokesman Andrew White said Cosby was outraged over Weinstein's conviction and called him repeatedly about it on Monday, stating that the jury were not sequestered, which gave them access to media coverage and the sentiments of public opinion. Of course, he went on to say, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> but. Andrew White is when stupid I for saw... even like bringing. <laughs> when Andrew I saw White, the headline, eh, to do. in my head, I wanted to come and say before reading it, I felt like when I opened it, it would be that there is no direct link between him saying it and him speaking with Cosby. It would be that the person just—I was going to say the person handling his account you just, should just shut up and wait for him to really come out of jail and say these things. But when I saw the body, is I realized that having phone calls? he's having phone calls and telling him how pain he is. Isn't him hard enough. What is this? I don't, I don't understand how we fight for certain people and then they come back to bite us in the behind. Like, come on, we've been comparing um, Cosby's um, sentence mm. to the fact that he's in jail yeah. and, the, and a white guy, um, guy is still mm. working free. Yeah. And then suddenly he gets sentenced and then you are there defending him. You're just making it look like I've been wasting my time all along. <laughs> you have. So, yeah, because it's making me feel Did like... Did you see that it brought in racism into this as well? I'm wondering... I don't Yeah, you're saying that if the Me Too was, um, all, wasn't all Becky referring to white women, yeah. then um, you would talk about the slave masters that raped the black... I'm like, what are you talking about? That jail is really affecting you, bro. <laughs> well, like, to no, be honest, that, that has been the biggest criticism of Me Too because black people have been talking, black women have been talking about rape for a very mm -hmm. long time. Until a white woman, a white Becky said, hi, I've been raped. It's like, oh my God, Me Too movement. Everybody freeze. We need to bring somebody down. True, blah, 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 true. blah. But can we take that away that they're still helping people bring somebody down? No, mm -hmm. we'll take our wins when we get it. For Bill Cosby, though, to be the carrier of this news is insane it's, to me. And then him even thinking that you can defend rich people. And then he's not talking about the tools that are liberating, like social media, mm -hmm. saying that you should shield them away from social media. When that's the only way we can uh, we can share our truths to these rich white people that you or rich men that you are defending. It's, it's really men. Andrew, say Andrew no, that is reporting like this story. Guilty. When when he sent the thing to Andrew the Andrew White, I'm thinking you that you read this as as a grown man. You're not in prison, you so your brain is still working. You think he's guilty? Mm. He is guilty to exactly. be in jail. I wasn't thinking whether he it's was guilty crazy. or not. Nah. So, mm, okay. the only the only sentiment I had was okay, that he's making me feel like he deserves the mm. sentence because we're having some because he's type guilty, of he sympathy it. for him. But, oh, you um, were having we, sympathy. I wasn't for having him. Okay, okay, I was. Mm. Okay, but on the contrary, though. If we have to look at the flip side of what Bill Cosby said, mm. I'm not in support of what he said. Don't quote me. Don't take me out of. But context. then you want to well, flip it no, no, no. But I want to. F no, I'm not in support. I'm just talking about the targets on rich, successful people. What's the problem? With Whether that? you're white or you're black, especially the black race. So why did now, they? Now, when you why did black, they sexually harass people? Mm -hmm. No, 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 not. I'm not talking about sexual predators. I'm just saying the flip side of everything he said. The target of the judicial system, especially the American judicial system. What are you talking I, I don't about? Understand if, uh, it. People who are rich are more likely to get away with things. True so that. it's not because you know it's funny when when we are attacked when we're no, focusing on I'm the saying. rich people you say oh i focus on them because they're rich no we're focusing on them because, because they are getting away well. with the crimes that the they have made they away. have the power that to to do that and that's why we're, we're targeting them it's not any other reason the poor people that are raping are already getting into prison okay. real quick Bill Cosby, i was trying to make, <laughs> sense. Fast. I was trying to make sense of what you said but <laughs> sir you don't have sense <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's time for a break. But when we come back, we'll have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from. 
my life we like. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Producer K Solo sends a memo to ladies. In his words, he says, Please take it easy on your fellow women. So many are losing their home because the man cannot pay for the luxurious life you post around. To be clearer, show them the means um, you run to acquire that luxurious life. Some are running to debt, some it's fight every day with their spouse. Ladies, help yourself. Okay. I don't know where he's coming from or what he's trying to say. Um, I get that you probably really want to know what these ladies are doing to live the kind of lifestyle they're living, but they did not force anybody to want to attain their own <laughs> level of flexing Run for you to race, put it... <laughs> For you to put it on yeah. them, I mean, if I if you see on, who? on the people on who the actually have that, the lifestyle, or yeah, the no, the ones having that the lifestyle. are feeling like no, oh, is that yeah, he's talking? putting it on the people that are having the lifestyle. No, he's isn't blaming. It, isn't it? That's what he's doing. He's blaming the failure. No, he's telling them to carry them along because no. those ones are being pressured. Carry them along as well. Yeah, like let them know. Let them know what exactly you're what you're doing. Not just posting that you have an LV. Let them know how you got the money to buy the LV. Uh -uh. That's what he's saying. So basically, he's putting the blame of the broken guy, homes. The that's not, those that's not really what I in got. The message I got was that. Elsie, hmm? why so mean? No, I'm just... The, me the message I got saying. was that he oh, was okay. saying that women that are pressuring their husbands to give them the lifestyle that they want to copy from somebody else. Before they no. start doing okay, that, that on the screen. he said, please take it easy on your fellow women. Okay. So many are losing their homes because the man can't pay for the luxurious life you post around. To be clearer, show them the means you run to acquire that lux life. Right. Do you, do you understand it yeah, now? Yeah. So she, he's saying that the problem is from the ladies that are displaying the wealth without telling them how they are getting the wealth. Instead of telling these people to be contacted and love their home and manage with their husband or enjoy Can with I their husband or whatever it today? is. Yeah. Um, bro, please, if you want to do a comeback, come back with a hit song with a good artist and stop trying to just post nonsense because nobody owes anybody nothing. Because at the end of the day, if I post something and you feel pressured by it, it's your pressure. To be honest with you guys, me, I want to know how you make money. <laughs> <laughs> Are you pressured? Cheese. Are you pressured? I, know, I, know, I just want to make money. I yeah, just want no, to make no, all this is money. Good. No, it's fine that you I want to know. know. Yeah. It's fine we that want you want to know. We all want, want to know. But the problem is when you now go back to your fiancé and say, and say you see that thing that in your door wall, hey, I have I to wear it. it. Mm. And you then see that when there's yeah. problem, you don't come and I have to go. And then you're fighting your husband. Then, oh, where do you like to marry nah, I don't have that problem, but... Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that problem, but you still want to know. I want to know. I just, no, I just, we all want to know. Us, he'll, talk mm. about, just hook me up, because oh. people have been posing, and, you know, when it's up and like to that... She has to come looks right. Right. Sorry. Sorry. You but but, but I, I want people to know that, man, the gram is not, like, real life. It's not reality. Oh, this story is, is so, like, I feel like it's, it's it, we have to be real. What he's saying is very factual in today's you know world. What? People you know what? are looking for, you know what? women in Nigeria are looking if for I, hypergamy. Do you know what that is? When you want to marry I, to up your... Your class. Nobody wants to marry. A lot of people don't want to marry or be with if someone I, just because let me tell you something they are I'm not hoping proud of. for a David o or like some type of assurance. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I'm not proud of. That's very common. Once upon a time, when I was still in Ghana, I walked into a store. I was only going to buy three shirts and two shoes and maybe like a jean. And I took a picture with every outfit I tested. And when I got back home. I started posting pictures on the gram. Different location, different, you know, use different walls, use different doors, use different things. And I started posting on the gram. And people will be looking at my Instagram and be like, yo, he's balling. But I didn't even buy any of those stuff. So are you sure those people you're looking up to and you're looking at the luxurious life, it belongs to them? That's what I'm saying. That look, well, guys, Instagram actually is just not money. reality. They have plenty money, so just teach your girl, please. That's what I want to know. I want to know this goal because if it's nine to five in the same country, you yeah, have to buy okay. four. Like, we need I want to understand know. that some of these ladies are actually doing certain businesses that actually pay big. Mm. So um, I'm trying to remember this line of business now, but. Real estate I hope I get is a common it's not one. Even just real estate. So I was in the midst of um, some business um, people and the conversation on a certain lady who her business is centered around. God, can I remember? I think it's cows. 
So you buy a certain mm. um, number of cows and put them somewhere. It could be 10 or something. But the fact that they are actually not cows, not the kind of cows that are walking around that you see. They are mm. big and they milk. Um, mm. they, what's the... The milk, yeah, what yeah. they generate is actually the really produce. healthy, and mm. there are certain people that need that certain produce. Mm. They get to sell it for a very expensive. expensive amount, and you get, I mean, for your cow to produce every day, you don't have to do anything extra. You just mm. have to make sure they feed well. And the amount of money that was made mm. from that business is absolutely crazy. Can this lady, and then when this you, lady just <laughs> chills. <laughs> she just gave you. She a chills thing. and she's enjoying her life, yeah. right? So. There are businesses that people are doing that you don't even need to know that this is where I entered or this is how I did it. The transaction is happening, your account yeah. is leads and you mentioned yeah. real estate. Just the fact that I know a rich man and then I connected the 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 right. owner of the property to selling that property to a rich man and imagine the property was say sixty what? million. Mm -hmm. I get ten yeah. percent. What, what did I do? Just and guess what? Just because I, knew, I, I, I have the network, that's yeah. all. So a lot, a lot of people are actually making money. And yeah. guess what? Which is why I say you should preach to them to find, aspire to be bigger, look for businesses, invest, but be content. You I cannot it's put that pressure on your weak. man. Uh, yeah, it's very weak as well. Because for me, it isn't about making my man have the money to provide for me. It's like, I want to know. I want to be the man. I want to be able to ball Do on my yourself. own thing so the idea already of you stressing your spouse for money already shows that you're you're, you're, you're already in the person. wrong mindset to mm. begin with um but you have to be real and, and understand that but like no, I, I know this ball, i know this yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. but wait you know what everybody wants this wealth but not everybody wants to get their hands dirty there's mm. certain businesses that bring lots and loads of cash do you understand like fishery mm. like farming like mm. poultry farming like piggery like but how many how many basically people want mm. yeah i'm just saying like <laughs> we need to go yeah basically yeah. really yeah time gone mm. wow wowzy mm -hmm. wowzy so on, and that's how we wowzy this episode <laughs> of the time thank you for watching i remember you can catch up on this conversation by visiting our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can also watch tea time on our tv and in london on ben television my thank you as always you go to my interesting co-workers if you're on my and if you're all and the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time my name remains elsie godwin do stay with us Thank you.